Hey guys, very good afternoon and welcome back to your channel that is Sun Academy Neat English. I'm going to give you this best memory chart and definitely you guys are going to get at least 40 marks from this one memory chart. So, let's go to this memory chart and try to put it in a hippocampus and those students, those who think that on chemistry pedike are adu customer so i would like to say no it's very easy so what i can say nelle elle it's romba sulbham so first of all we have to complete this circle can you see the circle yes say yes if you can see the circle so i'm going near to benzene can you see benzene anywhere it must be looking tough but yes i'm your hsp i will make it really very simple and once if you are going to put it in your memory definitely it is going to be very simple so let's start from this benzene can you see benzene so how to convert this benzene into toluene just see to it if you react benzene with methyl chloride in presence of and hydrous aluminum chloride this reaction is known as dear kids friedel craft reaction so benzene will convert into toluene and now when this toluene reacts with cl2h nu this reaction is free radical substitution reaction it will give you benzyl chloride either you can say benzyl chloride or you can say benzyl chloride now when this benzyl chloride reacts with KOH aqueous can you see KOH aqueous it is going to give you benzyl alcohol or you can pronunciate it benzyl alcohol now this benzyl alcohol on reaction with PCC this PCC is being MOA MOA means mild oxidizing agent in your NCERT if I talk about old NCERT it's given on page number 332 old NCERT and new NCRT, it's given on page number 340. Full form is pyridinium chlorochromate. Definitely, this will convert benzyl alcohol to benzaldehyde. Now, benzaldehyde on reaction with KMnO4, acidic medium, potassium dichromate, or concentrated HNO3, all these three are the examples of strong oxidizing agent. This will convert benzaldehyde to benzoic acid. Now, suppose this benzyl alcohol is directly reacting with all these strong oxidizing agents, then in single step, you must have got benzoic acid. So, let's move step by step. Can you see how much path we have covered from benzene to benzaldehyde? Can you see in between the arrows are there? I will let you know about those arrows you can see we are just moving by road and now later on just in few seconds i will tell you how to convert this benzene in single step into benzaldehyde but no i'm not going toward that side no distraction no diversion now benzaldehyde to benzoic acid now benzoic acid on reaction with ammonia this is acid based neutralization reaction so this benzoic acid on reaction with ammonia because ammonia is being base on reaction with benzoic acid it will convert into ammonium benzoate this is being salt and salt requires heat to further release water so on heating it will eliminate out water and will get benzamide c-o-n-h-2 benzene plus CONH2. Now, benzamide on reaction with Br2KOH. You can see Br2KOH. This is known as Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. Br2KOH on reaction means Br2 plus KOH. It gives KOBR, potassium hypobromide. And this reaction's name is Hoffman bromamide degradation or Hoffman bromamide rearrangement. There is shortening of the chain in this reaction, one degree amide converts into one degree amine with number of intermediates. But those intermediates, I will let you know later on. So up to benzamide, we have reached 
Now, from where we have started, kids, we have started from benzene. Once again, let me show you this was the memory chart. Now, let's go closer by to benzene because this circle is still not completed. So, just this was the benzene. And we have gone like this, benzene, toluene, benzyl chloride, benzyl alcohol, benzyl dehyde, benzoic acid, and then ammonium benzoate, and like this. Now, see to it, this was your benzene. And if you want to reach from benzene to aniline, just see to it what we are supposed to do. React benzene with concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4. This is known as nitration reaction. These two together will produce nitronium ion. Here H2SO4 act as an acid. No. H2SO4. Yes. Yes. H2SO4 act as an acid. And HNO3. Yes. It will act as a base. Although both two are acid. But... In this process, H2SO4 will act as an acid and HNO3 is a weak acid. It is going to accept, donate, means the proton which was donated by H2SO4. So it will act as base and both together they are going to produce nitronium ion and you will get nitrobenzene. And nitrobenzene on reduction with tin or HCl is going to produce aniline. Oh. Now this round circle got completed. Let me show you the round circle. This round circle got completed. Now let's see the fillings inside the round circle. What was uh, what I was telling you? If you want to convert this benzene directly into benzaldehyde, so take the flight of gutter man. <laughs> see the name, man of gutter. Either you can do Gutterman coach reaction or you can do Gutterman aldehyde synthesis. Are you getting my point? In both the two cases, you are going to get benzaldehyde in a single step from benzene. And if you want to convert toluene to benzaldehyde, what you are supposed to do? Yes. What you can see? Toluene to benzaldehyde, it's etard reaction. CRO2, Cl2. Okay, now let me tell you rest of the other things. You can see on the left hand side, but yes, I'm not going to move towards left hand side right now. See from aniline, this is was your aniline at this place. Can you see aniline at the top? Just at the top, can you see aniline and aniline? to benzene diazonium chloride what we are supposed to do just do the diazotization diazotization means reaction of aromatic primary amine with NaNO2 HCl they are going to produce nitrozonium ion this is the actual attacking agent but if you see during nitration you got NO2 plus that was nitronium ion See what's the difference here? Nitronium ion during nitration NO2 plus, but during diazotization there is just nitrozonium ion. You got benzene diazonium chloride. This benzene diazonium chloride's reaction in your NCRT they are given on page number 394 to 396. If you talk about old NCRT and we talk about new NCRT. It's given on page number 404. Now see to it, everyone. If we react benzene diazonium chloride with cuprous chloride at CL, this is known as Sandmeyer reaction, very good yield. And we are doing the reaction with copper at CL. This is known as Gutterman reaction. Yield is poor. Now we are going to react this benzene diazonium chloride with cuprous cyanide. What you will get? In presence of KCN, cyanobenzene, also known as benzonitrile. And if you are doing the hydrolysis of cyanobenzene in acidic medium, you will get benzoic acid. Whereas cyanobenzene on reaction with stannous chloride at ClH2O+, this is known as Stephens reduction. Partial reduction, Stephens reduction. This will convert cyanobenzene into benzaldehyde. Now see. 
This benzene diazonium chloride shows coupling reaction given on page number 398, old NCRT, new NCRT 406, coupling reactions. Example of electrophilic substitution reaction. Benzene diazonium chloride on reaction with phenol in slightly basic medium will produce orange color dye. And if you are reacting this benzene diazonium chloride with aniline in slightly acidic medium, you are going to get yellow color dye. What's the name of orange color dye? You can search it in your NCERT. Then you will get parahydroxyazobenzene. And what's the name of yellow dye? The examiner can ask. That's name is paramino azobenzene. It's already given you an NCRT. You can check it out over there. Now you can see this reaction. Can you see benzene diazonium chloride has taken the flight and it wants to convert into benzene in single step. Could you please help me? It is reacting with phosphonic acid H3PO2 or ethyl alcohol or glucose or stannous chloride. What's common in all four? these chemical reagents my kids dear kids they all are being reducing agent they can undergo oxidation so it is an example of redox reaction just see to it what's the name phosphonic acid very very important number of times examiner has asked these questions are really very very important for all the competitive exams, if I talk about your NEET exam or should I talk about IIT exam, because all these questions have been several times they have, they are, means always this is a first choice of examiners. So, this round circle I have completed. Let me check it out once that I have completed this round circle. Yes, I have completed this round circle. Now, let's go to the side one on the left hand side see this arrow oh this arrow from benzene diazonium chloride this blue arrow is going Shh. you must have played lead and snake game so like that it's moving upward side and what you are going to get this benzene diazonium chloride got converted to phenol oh great so what's the reason over there nothing else other than the water it's just warm water this warm water will convert this benzene diazonium chloride directly to phenol now the boss phenol phenol says i could show the remo t man reaction if i get the help of my friends who are the friends chloroform and koh Carbon tetrachloride and KOH. So, if you are using chloroform KOH, you will get salicylaldehyde. And if you are using CCL4 KOH, you will get salicylic acid. Both of them are the examples of Riemer Timer reaction and salicylic acid. Although you will get some para amount, para product, but that should be the minor one because in ortho, there is intramolecular hydrogen bonding and due to chelate formation, this compound is being more stable. So when you are going to react this salicylic acid with either of the two reagents, what are these two reagents? Either you can use acetyl chloride or you can use acetic anhydride, you will get acetyl salicylic acid and this is really the painkiller. Just see to it. It is also helpful in yes heart attack because it is blood thinner so this uh, analgesic painkiller it saves us from heart attack what's the name acetyl salicylic acid aspirin aspirin so each and everything got cleared and dear students really this memory chart I have been using from last 23 years. If I talk about Tanishka Yadav, 715, first rank, need 2022. If I talk about Chaitanya Mittal, All India, fourth rank, Ains, at that time Ains was 
there was separate exam for AIMS. This I'm talking about Chetane Mittal. He got fourth rank in year 2019. If I talk about Mahak Arora 2018, AIR 3, AIMS and Mahak's younger brother Suez Arora year 2021, 715 marks, fifth rank, all they were perfect in this memory chart within second within fraction of seconds they were going to tell you each and everything what is written and where it is written so you kids are supposed to keep this memory chart in your hippocampus whenever anyone is asking anyone means examiner will ask questions from here so you have to keep each and every point like this in your memory because there are number of chapters in your chemistry and you won't be able to correlate these reactions now if you want to correlate if you want to do the conversions and if you want to get perfection in your questions like that a reacts with b b reacts with c what you are going to get the product such type of questions you can do within fraction of seconds if you get command on this memory chart so i pray to almighty god that you should get best rank you should get dream college with best marks all the best Love you guys.